All right, friends, how are you today? Aaron here bringing you another daily horoscope for Thursday, the 9th of April, 2020. Another beautiful day. We've got the moon in the sign of Scorpio moving through the early to middle degrees. All right, the moon in Scorpio, the sun in Aries, right? We're still figuring out how to <laughs> go about this. Uh, we, we've had a lot of balance. You know, we're looking at balance and equality in our lives over the past couple of days where things are out of balance within our lives. And during the moon's descent into Scorpio, that's exactly what it is, a descent into our own shadow, okay? We can be dealing with feeling a lack thereof, right? A feeling a lack of power, a lack of sexuality, a lack of desire, or a lack of ambition moving forward. How do we move forward when we're surrounded by barricades, right? We can feel alone in this time where we're all certainly feeling alone. We can be feeling a lot of different things and all of this deals with these deep rooted emotions that are down uh, passionately driven at the bottom of our well, right? And we're being forced to sit with ourselves during this time, being forced to move through our shadows and find the light, okay? Now the full moon in, in Libra the other day helped to illuminate this light of balance and equality within ourselves. Not just about other people. I mean, it is the lover's full moon. It is spring moon, you know, in the seventh house, Libra, relationships with ourselves, relationships with other people. But as well dealing with just absolute balance of self, right? Balancing self. Again, back to that Egyptian, you know, does my heart weigh lighter than the feather? What am I doing during this time to create balance in my own life where I feel a lack of, where I can feel, right, where we can really start to feel heavy from Wednesday night into Thursday to Friday, right? We can feel very heavy with these, these deep emotions building up. Where do we, you know, where is the release? The release is across the way. In Taurus, Uranus, right? Uranus is the release. We have to let go of something old in order to move on with something new. We have to let go of part of our old self to embrace this new self, this new beginning, this new belonging, this new yearning, this new passion, this new drive, all right? Speaking of passion and drive, we have Mars creating that septile from Wednesday, Thursday, into Friday. Friday's the last day here. I'll just give you a little foreshadow. Okay, so here's Thursday, here's Friday. Saturday. Now Saturday, Mercury moves into Aries and that septile between Mars and Aries comes to an end. Okay. So, oops. Yeah, it's there as well on Thursday. But um, Mars are, you know, a planet of drive in Aquarius forward thinking. We have to see the future. When we're here in the bottom of our well, when we're here in our darkest of shadows, it is at this point when the light becomes the brightest. You know, so moving through specifically here on Thursday and Friday, we get a bit of love here from Pluto transformation change in Jupiter saying more. We'll talk about that more in tomorrow's horoscope. Uh, but you know, we have to, we have to sit at the bottom first. We have to go down to the depths of our emotions, the depths of our being, the, sexual, uh, the, the depths of our sexual identity, the depths of our sexual drive, the depths of our emotional passions, uh, our passions for power, to be powerful beings, right? And at this time, with this quink unks happening, or the sesqui square, a very similar um, aspect, a sesqui square. Um, we can be feeling hopelessness, right? We're lost here in this, in this maze or, or we can't get off the, um, you know, that MC Escher crazy stairs kind of thing. Like we're going here, we're going there. We're not sure exactly which direction to go to. And we're being forced again to sit with ourselves, which is extremely important right now. The more that we sit with ourselves, see this quintile happening here. All right, connecting up here with Pluto, transformation, 
and then quintile over here to Chiron, healing our wounds. All right. So during this day, is, is if we're allowing ourselves to truly sit with ourselves, sit with this, to not be overruled by uncertainty, to not be overruled by indecisiveness or, or feeling lost, but to just stop, stop running on the, the hamster wheel or this Ferris wheel or <laughs> Ferris wheel, you know, the, um, the treadmill that's going nowhere right with a carrot dangling in our face it's, it's not necessarily objective today to figure out what the next move is is but to sit here within ourselves and, and to see what it is about ourselves that we need to let go of again ultimately we want to be filled with joy we want to be filled with empowerment and it's okay for when we are sad it's okay when we feel alone it's okay when we feel depressed okay because there is answers in that depression there's answers in the loneliness there's answers in the inequity of feeling that we are enough okay we have a lot to offer we have a lot to give you have a lot to offer you have a lot to give you know it's been a fun journey over the past almost year and a half that i've been doing this and the relationships that i've you know gained with you uh has has been phenomenal you know, and I, I, I know wholeheartedly that everybody that does watch this channel is a strong minded individual that's that's doing things in their lives and doing things in the lives of others. And that we also all feel separate and alone at times. And it's times like this that we can find the empowerment, that silver lining in the beauty and nature of ourselves. <sighs> to sit with our shadow to expand, to transcend above it, right? The light's at its brightest in our darkest of spots. So my friends, have a beautiful journey into the shadows, emerging with a beautiful light. It's a whole new day tomorrow. Flowers blossoming. <laughs> Spring is here. My friends, as always, thank you for hanging out with me. I appreciate you so much. I love you. I wish you enough. And we'll see you tomorrow.